Alrighty, what is going on everybody? It is me Shadow Elite and I'm going through my JRPG field Vita here and we're gonna go through the whole thing. I have a 64 gigabyte memory card. So we're gonna go through each and every last game that I have on here. Cause the PlayStation Vita it ended production in Japan. And you know, I like the PlayStation Vita for what it was. I started to um you know, I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I started to drift away from the Vita during the uh, end of its um, life cycle, but uh, for the, like, I want to say a good, good couple of years, maybe three or four years there, the Vita did um, come through for me clutch at some times. But uh, now, it's slowed down a little bit, and I might just go back to it for some of the nostalgia. So, let's go through each and every game that I got on here. I'm going to try not to move the Vita as much. Hopefully, that won't be, that won't be too difficult. Alright, so, first game you see here, I got Legend of Heroes, Trails of Cold Steel 1. I played Cold Steel 1 on here, and then when I went to Cold Steel 2, I played it on PC, because I figured that would be the best way for me to play this game, the best way for me to experience Cold Steel. Really like the Legend of Hero games, I really need to go back and play uh, the, the latter half of the Sky Trilogy, and uh, maybe I can play the Crossbell games when I get around to it. Not sure if I could actually do that, but we shall see. All right, oh, messing around with it. Gotta stop that. All right, so next up, let's go to the uh, Vita Games Digital. So here we got Conception Two. Conception Two was actually a pretty good game. A uh, little bit, a um, little bit uh, fan servicey, but um, still a really good um, um, turn-based RPG. You had to make star children, stuff like that. A lot of innuendos in the game. Uh, Dragon's Crown, that's my um, second um, Dragon's Crown. I got it on PS3. Now I also have it on the Vita. I would have put it on the uh, PS4 as well, but I never got around to doing that. Uh, Dragon's Crown is a really good game by Vanillaware. Uh, next up, we got Soul Sacrifice. I'm not sure if this is a PlayStation Plus game or not. It might be. B? I, didn't, I, don't, I don't know. I don't know if I actually got Soul Sacrifice, but from what I played with Soul Sacrifice, it was a really good game. Um, next, we got uh, Final Fantasy X-2, which is also, um, it's a good game, but it's something that I never actually got around to really digging deep into because, I don't know, maybe it was the, maybe it was the whole girl power thing that really, uh, you know, uh, kind of like, drip, like made me um, move away from it. But, eh, I don't know. Uh, you also got Gravity Rush. I couldn't play Gra Gravity Rush because I got motion sickness whenever a cat would be flying around, defying gravity, walking along walls. I could not do it. Uh, you got uh, Mind Zero. Mind Zero, um, Mind Zero is a really, you know what, it's just, uh, Mind Zero just wasn't for me. It, it, it felt like a Persona knockoff. And it wasn't even a good one at that. It was really, really boring. I hated the character designs. I hated the dungeon designs. I hated the, uh, I guess you could say the personas that each character had. I really didn't like the game. I might, I don't know. I might just um, play it a little bit just to, just to see if it's as bad as I remember. But yeah, let's go back to this. So, I also got um, Monster Mon Piece. I think Monster Mon Piece was on sale for like three bucks. And I just grabbed it. No real um, intention on playing it at all. Now we got Demon Gaze. Demon Gaze was a really good dungeon crawler um, RPG. Um, it was a little bit tough, a little bit annoying. Like, I really, like, I should have showed you guys a live stream of that game if I could, but I didn't have the means back then. And I still don't have the means to live stream with the Vita, but uh, I had some really crazy moments. And I um, completed it. I um, also played Demon Gates 2 and completed it. But Demon Gates 2, I kind of felt like nothing changed like at all. Like, you know when a sequel comes along, it you expect it to do better? Demon Gates 2 didn't really do all that much. But yeah, Demon Gates still an uh, awesome tactical game. Let's go back. Uh, you got PlayStation All-Stars Battle Royale. I think that's a PlayStation Plus title, I'm not sure. Operation Abyss New Tokyo Legacy. Uh, I got this game when it first came out. At the time, I had so many other games to play. I was just saying to myself, listen, man, I am not going to play this game. I don't have time to grind. I don't have time to roll around in the dungeons to make custom characters. No, I just didn't have time for it. So this one kind of got the uh, good old skip, if you catch my drift. 
All right, so uh, what else we got in that folder? That's pretty much it for that. Let's go to Vita Games 2 here. We got Street Fighter Cross Tuckin. Street Fighter Cross Tuckin was the perfect on the go game. I loved just taking it out, playing versus mode, and just killing time wherever I was. Even I was waiting at my, my barbershop on the bus or just waiting on my DMV. This was the perfect game to play. It's too bad that Tuckin Cross Street Fighter never did pan out, but then again, you got Street Fighter characters in Tuckin, so maybe that's it. I don't know if they truly aren't going to do Street Fighter Cross Tuck. I mean, Tuckin Cross Street Fighter. You guys let me know. All right, we're going to close that out. Let's go back to this. Uh, Mars Hour Rebirth, excellent game. Great um, graphics, great art style. Mm, loved it completely. Uh, Ray Giant. I got this one. I got this game too, but then I didn't realize that the game was pretty much a that the game was pretty much a uh, dungeon call, not a dungeon call, a visual novel, and you were more of reading it than you were actually playing the game. But it had a great um, graphical style. It had like an anime cat. Your, your characters were like in anime, and then the enemies had a really good aesthetic as well. But if there's something new that, that you guys don't know about me. I don't do visual novels. I'm sorry. I'd rather play a game than to be reading all about the game. It's just not me. All right, so trying to keep this game, trying to keep this as steady as humanly possible. All right, let's. Can I just control it this way? Oh, my finger. All right, so what else we got here? We have uh, Zero Escape: Virtue's Last Reward. Uh, didn't really play that one. I think that one was on PlayStation Plus. I'm not sure. The Live Plus. I think that's a demo. And Sky of Four is a demo. I played the Sky of Four on PS3 or is it four? No, PS3. So yeah, I don't know why I got demos in here as well. Let's uh, let's check out the PS, uh, the Vita games physical. Of course, we got the GOAT Persona 4 Golden. Like I think Persona 4 Golden has like a one for one attach rate when it comes to the Vita, just like the Switch has for Legend of Zelda. If you own the Vita, you pretty much should own uh, Persona 4 Golden. And please, people, do not ask me. Don't ask me what is better, Persona 4 Golden or Persona 5. I can't answer that. <laughs> They're both neck and neck for me. Oh, man, I love both games so much. I might be leaning a little bit towards Persona 5. I don't know. I, I, you know what? I'm not even going to talk about it. That's not what this video is about. But, yeah, Persona 4 Golden, we all know, is a, is a, the GOAT for the Vita. Tales of Hearts R. A lot of people honestly like Tales of Hearts R, but I wasn't the biggest fan of it because I felt that it was such a budgeted title and it really showed and like not even just with the graphics, but just how everything like like the movement of the game. Like you would have characters going from standing up to just be like lying on the floor when they got hit with no animation in between sometimes. And I would just be like this is it, Chief. This is what we wanted. I really wanted Tales of Hearts R. No, Tales of Hearts on a DS. But, you know, uh, Tales of games at that time weren't being localized. And I don't think um, it probably it would have sold well either way. But, nah, eh, you never know. Uh, a lot of people, uh, like a, a good amount of people do like this one. Just not me. Not my cup of tea. Uh, Final Fantasy X HD. Uh, mostly played this one in here. I also have it on the PS3. Damn, it's also out on PS4 and the PC. My goodness. Final Fantasy X is probably in my top 10 JRPGs of all time. If not, definitely top 20. I'll say top 15, just to be safe. It's, it's between 15 and... it's been, Yeah, 15 and, uh, and 11, probably. Or 11 15. I, I, I don't know, but Final Fantasy X is definitely up there. Uh, what else we got in here? We have Ragnarok Odyssey. Ragnarok Odyssey was like one of those first launch titles for Vita that I got just to have a game to play on the Vita, and I don't think it was that good. It was like a Monster Hunter guy type deal, and it wasn't that good, but it was a game to play on your Vita. I had to close this one out instead. What else we got? Uh, Moe Chronicle, really big fan service game. Um, I got this game because I honestly thought that it would be rare because this was one of the first games I knew about that had that was released in Japan, but coming out in Asian Asia territories in English. So I figured I imported from Play Asia. 
it might be really rare so you know i just i would just buy it um and then uh, the fan service was also pretty over the top even for me but still you know yeah some of them well, it was in the realm of tasteful kind of but um it's a kappa heart game so enough said <laughs> Let's um I pretty yeah, I beat this game. I'm pretty sure I did. Uh we also have Yeast Memories of Salceta. This was a hard game for me to honestly beat. I don't know why. It wasn't hard in the sense that, oh my god, I can't beat this boss. It was hard in the sense of just not sitting down to play the game. And I don't know why that was. So it took me like maybe a year or two after I got the game to honestly beat it. And there was really no problems with it at all. I think we all have that trouble once in a while, just to sit down and play the game. All right, so that's it for Vita Games Physical. I think I have another physical Vita Games folder. I'm not sure. PSP and PS1 games, Parasite 2, Dino Crisis 2, Tekken 6. I didn't know I had Tekken 6. Um, Dino Crisis 1. Dino Crisis is so good. It needs a freaking remake like Resident Evil 2 got. Mm. Dino Crisis in the form of Resident Evil 2 remake. Mm. That would be great. Uh, God of Year Burst, um, played it on PSP. I think I also played it on the Vita as well. But I think that's a PlayStation Plus one, I'm not sure. Uh, also got Persona 3 Portable. Uh, played it on the PSP, played a little bit on the Vita. Final Fantasy 7, my favorite on Final Fantasy. Arguably, arguably, ugh, arguably, I cannot talk today. One of my favorite JRPGs of all time, if not number one. Black Rock Shooter the game, played it on PSP, got it on here just because. Resident Evil 2, one of my favorite games of all time, hands down. Let's see. Samurai Cobra, Sonobi Versus. It's interesting because as soon as SFL Versus came out on PS4, this one became so obsolete for me. It's not even funny. There's no reason for me to honestly go back to this. I think after this, I'll start it just to see how it's just not my cup of tea anymore. <laughs> Oh man, uh, let's see. We got Blade Dancer. I think Blade Dancer I got on a PS uh, on a on a sale on the PlayStation Store. It was like two bucks, and I was like, let me just buy it. I might play it off and on. Never did. It's one of those games you just I just bought and I just <laughs> never played. We got uh, Manica Mia. Manica Mia was a really good game. I played it on PSP. Um, I had it downloaded on my PSP, so I didn't have that many load time issues, and I. Like some of the game, some sometimes the game would freeze. That's NIS America's work. So some of you that are um, worried about uh, Cold Steel Three, eh, I can see where you're coming from now. But uh, I didn't have that problem with it when I installed the game or had it downloaded. Uh, I think I also got this one on the Vita at a, like a two dollar, three dollars on the sale. Uh, Dungeon Travelers Two. I think this is a demo. Is it a demo? It is a demo. Okay, this is a demo. Uh, I downloaded demo. I, I really Freedom Wars, ah oh, man, one of the really good JRPGs on the Vita, so underappreciated this one. Ah oh, man, I wish they made a sequel, this one was really good, a little bit repetitive, a little bit on the, um, man, this is getting really grindy and a little uh, farm heavy, but uh, still a really cool game with a really good um, aesthetic and a really cool concept. You pretty much were sentenced to like a million years. And you had to do pretty much missions to reduce your sentence. That was, um, I, I like that concept. That was really cool. Alright, we got Summer Night 5. I think Summer Night 5. Did I play on the Vita? Or did I play it on the PSP? I think I played, I played it on the Vita. Yeah, I played it on the Vita. A really good tactical game. Um, I think this was released well after the uh, PSP stopped getting games in America. Gaijin works just felt like localizing the game. This is honestly one game that I never thought would make it overseas. But hey, Gaijin works being cool. War of Final Fantasy demo. This game is a uh, travesty almost on the Vita because everywhere else it looks so much it looks so much better. But I guess that's what you expect if you're playing a Vita title. Um, still a really good game. Um, looks like I went through everything on here. x Plays demo. I think I downloaded the x base demo because I said I wasn't into visual novels, but I was willing to give them a shot, and I was going to, you know, try to demo for this one, but I don't think I ever actually started it. 
So, um, yeah, still not on that visual novel life. Uh, Kill Some Mercenary, I think that's a, um, a PlayStation Plus title. Gaia Resurrection, I played Burst, played Resurrection on the PS4, have it on there just to have it on there. Oh my god, Borderlands 2, oh my god, this game runs like absolute trash! Trash! You know what, trash is an insult to how bad this game runs on Vita. It's actually pretty remarkable how a full game, they got a full game like Borderlands 2 on here, but damn, it honestly made me sick of how much the frame rate chugged. Like, I would get physically ill for how badly the game ran. Oh my god. I think that's pretty much it when it comes to games on my Vita. So yeah, guys, that was pretty much it. Um, yeah, let me know what you guys think. Let me go know if you guys are still rocking with your Vita. Um, I'm only gonna mess around with some of these games a little bit right after I'm done here. But uh, yeah, guys, that's it. Let me know what you all think, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.